So we're going to take a look at how to find the mass number for an element. So here's the thing, mass number, that equals protons plus neutrons. So let's say you had six protons plus six neutrons. What's the mass number? Six plus six, that equals 12. Pretty easy, right? So pause, give this one a try. What if you have six protons and eight neutrons? Six plus eight equals 14, and that is the mass number. So that's really all there is to it. One important thing to understand is here we have six protons. So the number of protons, that's the same as the atomic number. So we're dealing with carbon here. And it doesn't matter if we have six or seven or eight neutrons, this will always be carbon because the number of protons, that equals the atomic number. That's gonna be carbon. Important to know. Let's try another one. What if you're told you have carbon and it has seven neutrons? What's the mass number? Pause and give that a try. The key to doing this problem is protons, that equals the atomic number right here. And since we said carbon, that's gonna be six. Six plus seven, that equals the mass number 13. You got it. So we said carbon always six protons, but it can have six, seven, or eight neutrons. Those are called isotopes. So if you have six neutrons and it's carbon, you have six protons, that's carbon 12. If you have carbon here with seven neutrons, that's called carbon 13. And then if you have carbon with eight neutrons, that's the isotope carbon 14. And you might have heard carbon 14 dating. Since we're talking about carbon here and we have different isotopes, what is this number right here? That's called the average atomic mass. And it's not a whole number like mass number. That's because we're averaging all of these different isotopes of carbon. Most of them are carbon 12 with six neutrons. That's why this number is closer to 12. But when we average these all out, we end up with this 12.01. It's based on the abundance of each one. But this number is an average of the isotopes, and that's why it's not a whole number like we found with mass number when we add protons plus neutrons. We'll talk about isotopic abundance in another video. This is Dr. B looking at how to find that mass number for an element. Thanks for watching.